Hi guys, welcome to Trending, brought to you by Airtel. My name is Nancy Isime and I'm your host as always. It's always a pleasure to have you join me on this show. As you know, we discuss everything and everyone that is trending, which is what I'm going to do right after this break. Stay with me, I'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back to Trending. Now today I'll be discussing the topic being a female comedian in Nigeria, what are the pros and what are the cons? And discussing this topic with me is none other but comedian extraordinary. <laughs> Miss Chigo awesome, in the building. In the building. Hey. In, inside the building. Inside so the building. It. Yeah, I'm not just on the compound. <laughs> Where inside? Yeah, it's, it's good to see you. Good How to are see you? you? I'm good. I'm you good. look fantastic. I love the head wrap. My dear. It's, I think it's glittering here. Yeah, we're, yeah, we have a little bit of, you know, we're, we're, it's, I call it disturbance. Right. So this, this is disturbance. Mm, nice. Well, tell me about it. Tell me about your style today. Now, style up your um, style. You know, my thing is always sort of like being casual cute. I like right. to be casually dressed a lot of times if you allow me out. Really wear jeans and sweats most of my time, but right. um, I just wanted to sort of like look okay for trending. Okay, okay. People will see the show. Okay, and they will talk. Okay, because I know you. I know your people. <laughs> So I wanted to look. I wanted to look all right. So that, okay. was, that was like the goal. Oh, you look more than all right. You look really nice. I love the DIY green. makeup, yeah. of course. DIY. Yeah. <laughs> so please tell me, how has it been since you had your first big break into the industry? Um, I've been doing this since 2009, right. and it's been various. It's, it's, there's so many things that have happened in mm. the course of of this journey. I guess right. I'll call it, and. I have been really taken in by people, which which still amazes me to this day. May I never, ever, ever, mm. ever see mm. that be older. I, I've been received by so many people and just been accepted by mm. so many people. And even with with especially when I got to this in this industry, as we call it, it was mm. predominantly it was a male yeah. saturated right. uh, industry and but they were all so welcoming and very open to me and just accepting me and you know putting me on their shows and things like that mm -hmm. and over time it's it's the journey has been really amazing but mm -hmm. then you look around you and you're like there are only like five people that I know that look like me in this <laughs> industry and right. like five girls who are doing these things with MC or just stand-up comedy I mean mm -hmm. then you then you meet someone like Mandy who's been doing this for 25 years mm. 25 years Hello. and you're like wow <laughs> i'm at nine and mm. i'm feeling stressed right. so she's 20 she's been in for 25 years and she's a mother and and these are women who have children Helen Poe has children like you know like people are taking care of people and being a mother mm -hmm. and being a woman it's just so many hurdles you have mm -hmm. and so many jobs and so many hats you wear but people are still trying to live their dream at the same time right and so it's um it's amazing to watch it and mm -hmm. we just want to bring them out of the woodwork we want mm. to tell them it's okay to come and do this thing and this can be your job and this yeah, can right. be what you want to do you can live your dream as well mm -hmm. and be a woman now you're one person who's very consistent with this i mean when it comes to stand-up comedy when it comes to being an mc when it comes to acting mm -hmm. and of course bringing that funny vibe to everything you bring mm -hmm. um what are the challenges you know of being consistent especially in your own field it's it's hard because well normally let's say it's hard you have to sort of like work at at evolving with the times, right? You have to work hard at staying on the pulse of what you know, what, pe what people want, like the pulse mm. of the of the city, the pulse of the country, the pulse of because when people, when you you are in a particular, so you have a particular kind of genre or type of, of thing you do, whatever right, it is, right? There's a tendency that you are not allowed to sometimes come out of that box. Mm. People want to see you do the same thing all the time, mm. and you want to show your other side. You're versatile, you know. You don't want to just be Nancy the presenter. Once upon a yeah. time, this part of what they knew you, or she presents, but right. then she's also an actor. Yeah, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. People want you to always. No, we want you to do the presenting side. Or want you. So you you have to sometimes you're, you're able to diversify. Right. And it's it's been a challenge somewhat, but I think I'm getting to a place where people have seen that mm -hmm. I can do mm. one, two, three, four, five different things. Right. And, right. So now I'm doing voice acting and I'm I'm doing imitations and I'm doing I'm singing jazz and I'm mm. able to do that and I'm mm. acting and I'm and I'm being a comedian and I'm mm. you know I'm shooting funny videos and mm. so yeah so we're but doing all of these things now um, how has the support been especially from your colleagues now you know there's this there's this say that you know, there's this saying that in the industry or in life in general especially female mm. women don't support each other. You know, do you get more support from men than you get from women, or is it okay? I mean, we're not. You know, I, 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 I beg to differ because mm. my experience has been that we all want the same thing, right? Which is, you want who doesn't who doesn't want to be able to just work 
doing the job you love mm -hmm. and maybe using that job you love mm -hmm. to make the money you need to survive and, mm -hmm. and live well. Mm -hmm. And I, I looking at it and they've been very supportive. All of these women, all of all I call them, all of my sisters have been really supportive of me right. as an individual and just on this thing that we're doing. Every time, you know, they hail me all the time. You know, and it, and because of the fact that we identify with them on so many levels. Mm. I mean, even like you know, you know, I've been doing this trying to lose weight and trying to whatever. So mm. like, Bossa is always there and she's always, you know, she's always encouraging me. Mandy, right. Princess. Everybody's always encouraging me, and I try my best mm -hmm. to sort of like encourage them in what they're doing. Right. So the support has been really phenomenal. You would say because the men are the more prominent ones. So when if Basketball says something, mm -hmm. the world will hear it. Right. If you know what I'm saying, if Alibaba says something or endorses you mm -hmm. or whatever, mm -hmm. the world will hear it. But I get also endorsements from my from my from my girls. Mm -hmm. You know, they are very supportive and they hail we hail each other and we do our best. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not without. It's not without its issues mm. and or squabbles or, mm. or there's always no I don't like to say that use that word beef because it really ain't that serious. Like <laughs> yeah. Because you know sometimes there are differences mm. and it's sort of like agreeing to disagree agreeably. Right. That's what right. I say. Mm. So you you should be allowed to disagree but just do it in an agreeable manner. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Which is what people forget when mm. functioning and that's just in life in general. Right. Right. Yeah. Now tell me you've been in the industry for nine years. Two, two, since two thousand and eight. That's my nine. There about. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> a long time. But tell me, how or would you say that you've paid your dues? I don't even think I paid girl, can I tell you? I don't I mm. I'm every <clears throat> day I pinch myself because right. every day is still a wonder to mm. me. Mm. Every day is still because I never want it to become old. I never want it to become and that's my prayer to God every day that let this thing never ever get to the point where it's like, oh it's just uh, mm -hmm. I want so every day is a wonder. Every day somebody I see like, oh my god, you make me laugh or I get a post, you know, you 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 make us smile. Those things make me feel like I'm on cloud fifty thousand hundred <laughs> wow. because it is what I quit my nine to five mm. to do. Okay, so tell me what inspired you know the switch from comedy into acting. I don't to me I don't feel like there's a switch because they all yeah they connect. Yeah, they connect. Yeah, so they just all feed off each other. But what, what was it for you? I've always I always had had a passion for acting. I was right. doing that when I lived in the U.S. for twelve mm. years and I started mm. doing theater. Right. And like towards the time before I came back home, mm. and I just loved it. And I was like, you know, I wanted to do that, and I wanted to sing jazz. Right. Those two things. Mm. Comedy never, when I tell you never, was not anywhere near the clouds <laughs> in my thought process. Right. And I, I've always sort of like had a passion for these things. So comedy, when I when I when people ask me, oh, how did you start? I always mm. say, comedy happened to me. Mm. It happened. Mm. Like literally fell in my lap. God just said, you know what? This thing you've always done. Mm -hmm. Here's. I think He just said. Here's a blessing mm. for it, mm. and this is when Chigo happened, and the way it just happened because literally I started my life out in this entertainment thing as a voice, mm. Mm. and then I became a face, and mm. then it it helped open the doors to the other things I wanted to do. Right. So it became, oh, can you show up? Can you do a cameo here? Mm. Can you mm. just pop up in my film as mm -hmm. a, this or that? Mm. And so now it, and it also went from the transition from just doing maybe Chigo like characters mm -hmm. to being able to say, okay, you're a serious actor, be serious in this film. Mm. You don't have to be Chigo, you don't mm. have to do the voice, mm. do something else. Mm. You know what I mean? So it opened those doors. So I'm able to now, now when I, people, oh, she does sing. Oh, can you come and sing here? Can you come and sing there? And then I'm, you know, speaking engagements just to motivate people. So mm -hmm. all of those doors, I think, opened from this one from thing. From that one, me. right. What has the reception, you know, from fans and viewers been for? Banana Island Ghost. Um, I mean, it was, it was on over a year now. Like it's, yeah, like and it's left the cinemas and everything. But I still get like, <laughs> I still get people telling me, "Oh my God, you're amazing, Banana mm -hmm. Island Ghost." I was at the uh, there was a little function at the American Consul General's house, right. and a lot of his his colleagues and his people were like. Because when he saw me, you know, like he was like, "You're the girl from Banana Island Ghost." <laughs> oh my God, I'm a big fan. I was like, "Oh." Okay, sir. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. So it's just amazing to still receive that sort of like those accolades and they still come and right, I appreciate right. them. Okay, you know, like okay. I said, it'll, it'll never get old. Mm, let's we'll compare. Yeah, we we'll never get old. Never course, get old. Let's, let's do a comparison between okay. um, the movie industry and comedy industry. What do you think? Hmm. They're, they're so tied into each other, it's hard to sort of like distinguish or put a, a, a wall in between both of them mm -hmm. because you're when you're an act when you're a comedian mm -hmm. you might be needed to be a comedian in okay. a film or in okay. a production okay. and so they're always sort of like tied together so mm -hmm. you sort of are 
and it's like navigating the same waters, just right. moving like two different boats. Mm -hmm. So it's like the same water, just two different boats. Right. And right. it's just, you know, yes. just Okay, like okay. So water. tell me, Chico, what are you working on at the moment? What should we expect from you? Right now, okay, we'll be working on this, you know, saying to you about this show we're, 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 I'm hosting on Friday, right, um, okay. 9th of March, at the Brand Ballroom of Echo Hotel. Mm -hmm. It's called Ladies of Laughter, which is where all the girls are just going to be right. able to display their talent on stage. We have me, we have, I'm hosting it, and then, but we have, uh, performing like what should say Mandy, Helen Paul, Princess, nice. or Fi is gonna be there. Hopefully Mirage is gonna be there. I think she's gonna be there. We have Mimi and on the red carpet. Then we have nice. some guys just to spice up the night. Okay. And then we have a lot of other young up and coming comedians, female comedians. Okay. Because they've been sending in videos and so mm. we've been trying to to um get them See to sort of perform yeah. and then you know so big shout out to Eunice Adeyemi of Q21 Solutions. She's just carried this home with her head, Aww. had this thought, had this vision and decided to go with it. So wow. we're very grateful to her for mm. kind of like handling this thing by herself with, with support from people like Uncle Eddie Lawani. He's mm. just been amazing and support and just so many people. So we're going to have some people there just to cover it like Comedy Central. Okay. And, oh, you nice. Know, I don't know if you guys, if Hip TV is going to be there. I don't know. <laughs> it would be nice. Hey. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that's literally what what's on on the plate right now. Okay. But I have so many things happening this year. We have uh, Mike at Marcel coming out soon. Okay, that's the first film that I produced um, mm -hmm. as a co-producer mm -hmm. and writing other stuff as well and mm -hmm. doing writing a TV show. Wrote a TV show. We've broken it down into thirteen episodes. We're just waiting to see where it goes with that. And, you right. know, so 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 many things. And it works my own show. Mm -hmm. Trying to do a one woman. An hour of Chi Girl and her madness. Let's see yes. how that goes. So you never know. So okay. there's so many things. Well, yeah. thank you so very much for sharing. My we look forward to all of these things. Oh, but yes. <laughs> all right, guys, enjoy the video of the day. We will be right back. I said I'm sorry. No, I'm I'm back. Sorry. I'm still very good. But you know it's not my fault now. Nah. This is only you. Now nah, you yeah, get it, eh? Look, if you really want me to forgive you, you have to do only one thing for me now. You have to take me to coffee show. Okay, when will be the show? It's November 8th. No, no. Yeah, Mizon Center. How much will the ticket? 45,000. Baba. Who is that? Okay, you're talking to your other group, where yeah? You see what put us in trouble in the first place? No, now nah, one, one of these area boys who... So. Who go over there, man? Do me a favor, please. Take that person to get out of here. You know what I'm saying? Get out of here. Sorry, I get COVID ticket. I have a bad. Eh, COVID ticket date. Oh, yeah, bring two. Ah? Yeah, did I get two tickets? For me and you now. Nah. Mbano. No. My mom, my mom. Oh, mommy. That was you, Boko. Eh? Then my brother. Then two of my friends. So all of them are welcome to the show. Pack all the people with their names loaded in this, eh? I will buy tickets to give all of them, eh? I have really ticket, my brother. Everything for you, Baba. Everything for you. You know what I'm saying? Hi guys, welcome back to Trending, brought to you by Airtel. I still have Chi Girl on my hot seat and we're about to play some games. Huh. Well, first off, it's a fast fire question segment. What happens is that I get to ask you a couple questions about yourself. Okay. And you answer them under 60 seconds. So you can't really think, you just... It's like concentration. Yeah, concentration. Okay, okay. <laughs> about myself. Yes, are you ready? Yes. All right, time starts now. Okay. What did you have this morning? Nothing yet. Okay, describe yourself in one word. Uh, walking, talking, living television. Okay, what do you think about when you're alone in the car? <laughs> My next kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your favorite food? I mean, foodie, anything is food. Food for the belly, belly, for the food. All for the, all shall perish. Food oh. and the belly. Food, yes. okay. Favorite comedian of all time? Favorite comedian of all time. Hmm, there's so many. There's so many. What I, that Martin Lawrence. Yeah. Okay, Martin, Martin Lawrence. Lawrence. Okay. <clears throat> favorite car? Favorite car. Mm. Anything that has big tire. And four doors. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. Beans or yam porridge? Yam is a carbohydrate. Beans is good for you. But they both are sweet. And actually you can mix it too. It's a yam. Is it? <laughs> so, oh good. Beans porridge. Okay. <laughs> okay. Celebrity crush? I can't say that. You can't say it. Sure. Do you want to tell me? Later. <laughs> Will I tell the crush that I'm I just okay? Like, well, let's let's do international. Let's not do okay. All right, hey, but because yeah, I can't really <laughs> for the put inside trouble. Inside trouble. So, mm. who, who internationally, my celebrity crush Denzel, man. Denzel, I don't know. Okay. yeah, it's always okay. been for a minute. I can't okay. get a minute. What is the color of your brush? My toothbrush, mm -hmm. 
it's white and blue Why don't and has like a gray side it's electric so then it has like a band around the edge and then there's a different head on the bristle for the different parts of my teeth because i have braces so special brush Okay. Well, you yeah, have so sure you exceeded 60 seconds, but that's okay. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for answering these questions. Um, right now, we're going to move on to the next one, which is the tribe. What happens is I get to ask you social media applications, okay. and you get to pass them all. Okay. Oh. Basically. So. No, I'm counting on you. If you like, if you can do it. If you don't I get it. it. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, so I give you the abbreviation. You give me the full meanings. Okay. Yeah? Oh, okay. Great. First one off, K N T. Come on, dear. <laughs> Why that be nice? <laughs> Actually, yeah. Do you help you? KMT? Yeah, KMT. They said that a lot. It's like... It's like ha. I just gave you the best clue ever. I said, KMT. Come on. Ah. What is that? Oh, the Lord. Kiss that's me that's tonight. <laughs> no! Actually, that... Wow! You keep saying you can't... No, 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 no. But no, it's something people say a lot. Like when you, when you, they want to be like, oh, go away. It's like, come on, now. That's it. It's not it. Excuse me, please. Do you want me to help please you? Please help me. It means kiss my teeth. It's like, that's what, when you. When do you start? And you see, I'm confused. <laughs> In Nigeria, that's a hiss. <laughs> no. And it's spelled M S C H E E E E. Yeah, but that one is hiss. Oh, when you did it. That's like a It should be H A H A Y. Hiss at you. Because. <laughs> Okay, okay, right. Okay, that was that means. Why did you take KMT? I thought it was a greeting. I was like, what? KMT yourself. It's my teeth. Okay. Okay, L O L. Laugh out loud. Yes. Y W. You're welcome. You're welcome. T G I F. Thank God it's Friday. I C M. Ha. It's a place right here around this vicinity. I C M. Yeah, it's a place people like to go to. And of recent, I'm giving you the best clue. There's been proposals happening there every time. Uh, you can't have trouble more? Yeah. Uh, is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no. It's, you know, that place is the place where the day you go, nothing happens. But the day you don't you go, you city more. They propose okay. to everybody. Yeah. I'm just getting it. Yes, yeah, you're just getting it. I just I call see it that. Ah, no. Yeah. Just call it they, should just, they should turn it to proposal center. In fact, they will propose, propose Jesus will come and shop. Uh, Beyonce will then come and pepper. Then you say no. <laughs> Everything happens when you don't okay. go to ICM. But it's ICM. Uh, BBQ. A barbecue. Barbecue. Last one up. TTYL. Talk to you later. Talk to you later. We will be talking to you right after this break. Stay with us, guys, because we'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back to Trending, brought to you by Airtel. I still have Chigel on my hot seat and we're about to read some <clears throat> nasty comments. I'm going to give this to you. Please read and respond as the best way you can. Wow. Wow. One says, anonymous, oh, anonymous says, okay. she's a bad comedian, copying princess. Mm. Ew. Okay. Should I react to it or should I just read Please it? Just go ahead, react. react. Okay, she's a bad comedian, copying princess. Ew. Okay, my dear anonymous, I don't know what to say. No? It's you feel as you feel and your feelings are valid. That's how you feel. Mm. I know that princess doesn't feel that way, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Hence, you're anonymous. <laughs> that doesn't matter either. Exactly. Um, two, Joquette P says she should stick to comedy before she wound herself with by force acting. Yeah. Mm. Wow, Joyce P. Yeah, I should. Yeah, I'm sticking to actually all of them. So I'm <laughs> going to do acting, comedy, singing. Um, I dance really well too. So um, I will wound myself doing all of them. <laughs> And then treat myself with the money I make from doing yeah. all of them. Bless your life. Yes. You Slick better. T says she's so proud. Now, wow. Obviously, Slick T, you don't know me. Maybe you should get to know me. Mm. But um, I don't like to deal with people who jump to conclusions without knowing. So I think I'll just have you meet with your Jesus and sort out your personal problems. <laughs> God bless. Much love. Hashtag TGD. Ta, what for there? Why bye. Much love. I still love you though. I do. Oh, thank you so much. And thank you for coming on the show today. My pleasure, girl. It's good to hang fun? out with you. Good to see you. Of yes. course. As usual. This is, you know, this is my second time. I know, yeah. Second yeah, time. So yeah, I've, I've been. I've been before and this is cool. Thank you. Thank you yes. very much. Thank Best you. of luck with everything. And I look thank forward you so to much. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Indeed. All right, guys. 
Please, I'll take a short break now. When I come back, I'll be running off the show. Stay with me. Check out our top five most followed Nigerian actors on Instagram. At number five is Omotola Jalade Ekende with 1.28 million followers. At number four is Messi Aigbe Gentry with 1.7 million followers. Coming in at number three is Rita Dominic with 1.90 million followers. At number two is Genevieve Naji with 2.52 million followers. And at the number one spot is Funke Akindele Belo with 2.7 million followers. All right, guys, it's a wrap. Thank you so very much for tuning in today. Thank you for watching. I hope you had fun. I had Chi Girl on my hot seat. I'm a lot to talk about. As you know, you can join the conversation. Follow us on Twitter at Hip TV and on Instagram at Official Hip TV. You can also follow me on Instagram only if you wish at Nancy Isime Official. Until I see your pretty faces next time, do not forget that I love you, but God loves you more. Goodbye.